Hey friends, so the other day I was chatting with one of our home team members about the project that they're currently working on. I was reminded of a benefit that I've had from doing kind of back-to-back -back projects for a lot of years that I wanted to share because it probably applies to whatever project you might have your hands on currently, whether it's games, whether it's music album, whether writing a story, whatever the thing is, it's a value to doing creative things that I think sometimes gets glossed over. And that is that it helps us segment the time in our lives. And what I mean by that, of course, is that when you're younger, you kind of get pushed from one grade to the next, right? You get pushed out of elementary school into middle school and high school. You push, if you go to college, into college, and then year by year of that. In the career, occasionally, there will be shifts. But for a lot of adulthood, it kind of blurs together if you're not careful. And very quickly, a few years here, several years in a row, decade can pass. And if we're not doing things to delineate that time, to signify that this is then and that was now, it just smears together. One of the things that's helped me a lot from just doing kind of, again, back-to-back -back projects, often free or hobbyist stuff, or just things for learning, things for fun, things for enrichment, things to explore and express ideas, is it helps me kind of move on past a period of my life is, oh, that's when I did that project. And then I can put a bow on it and put it behind me. And this applies as well, not just to games, right, but to my audiobooks, to uh, different pieces of projects, to my video courses, to, heck, my YouTube videos and things, my blog, although the blog's not even up anymore, but it's the ability to kind of do a thing, get it out of us, move on from it. It's nice. I, I don't know if I, I guess I would broadly say I find it like it feels like it's a healthy thing to do. I'm always cautious about it. I want to make it seem like I'm claiming that it's a healthy thing to do because I don't know what that means. But it helps me, right? And hopefully it helps you when you're doing projects. If you think about why you might start doing projects, if you're not, or I'll tell you this too, right? If you are doing projects, if you've been doing a project for a while, Maybe it's a reason to think through how and when are you putting a bow on it? People often don't like that question about when's your thing coming out? Because when it's done, it's a comfortable answer and it's a scary thought, but it has a tendency to drag on. It's part of why, at least in home team, we the moment a game kicks off, we always say, here's the date we're releasing it at. And then we release it on that date. All right, we adjust plans as we kind of come in for a landing so that we do the best thing we can by that date. But then we move on from it. Because to me an important part of the value of creative projects is the other side of it. Being able to move on from it, being able to put it behind you, being able to just know by August 20th, by October 15th, by January 3rd, whatever time you want to put into it that have that trust that it's going to be behind you. It's like that feeling where, you know, you're in school, you got finals coming up, you're not thrilled about it, you're studying, you're, you're concentrating, you're trying to dump notes and practice all this stuff. But you know that one way or the other, whether it's an A, a B, hopefully at least an A or a B, after a certain date and time, at least it's behind you. At least you're on the other side of it. You can give yourself that as often as you want it through the creative projects that you do. Again, whatever kind of creative project you like to do. Games are what I help people with. Games are what I know best. But I've seen this in other people's lives, including in my own for that matter, in other mediums. So anyway, just want to share a thought that uh, one of the values of making creative things and a reason to keep doing it separate from apart from whatever else might be going in your career, is just the ability to kind of compartmentalize. There were thoughts I had at the time, some of which I'd like to move on from. Some of which, and it's not that it's bad, it's not that it's negative, it's not that it's uh, anything wrong with them. But put a bow on them, put them behind you, move on to the next. And it's can't try to kind of shift and pivot a little bit. What am I thinking about now that I'm doing this new project? It's the thing I'm enjoying too about the new project I'm taking on, which... Probably a little too early yet to give more information about that, but uh, excited to share that as soon as I can. Anyway, that's it for the day. Thanks for being around as always. Catch you all another time. Bye for now.